Let's assume that we bought a machine for $120 million and its economic life is three years. The annual depreciation of this machine, based on the straight line method, is equal to the cost of the machine divided its economic lifetime. In this case, this would be $120 million divided by three years, which is equal to an annual depreciation of $40 million. The economic lifetime of this machine is three years, so we will write year one, two, and three. The cost of the machine is $120 million, which is called gross fixed assets. So gross fixed asset is $120 million in year one, two, and three. In the first year, we have used the machine for one year only, meaning depreciation is $40 million. Consequently, the value of the machine after one year is $120 million minus $40 million, which is equal to $80 million, which is the net fixed asset value for year one. For the second year, we have used the machine for two years, meaning the accumulated depreciation is now $80 million, which was calculated by adding the depreciation of the first year of $40 million plus the depreciation of the second year of $40 million again. Consequently, the value of the machine after two years is $120 million minus the $80 million of depreciation, which is equal to $40 million, which is the net fixed asset value for year two. For the third year, we used the machine for three years, meaning the accumulated depreciation is now up to $120 million, which was calculated by adding the depreciation of the first, second, and third year. Consequently, the value of the machine after three years is $120 million minus $120 million, which is equal to zero, which is the net fixed asset value for year three. Consequently, we must purchase a new machine to maintain production. The net fixed asset is the actual value of the machine after we deduct the accumulated depreciation. Therefore, net fixed asset is included in calculating the non-current assets instead of gross fixed assets. Please note that gross fixed asset is British terminology, whilst American terminology is PPE, gross. The same applies for the net fixed asset, which is British terminology, while the American terminology is PPE, net.